Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about that how we can build that autopilot in Twilio. Apart from that, once we build the autopilot in Twilio and we will be able to chat uh, using the board, we'll connect this autopilot to the WhatsApp. So let's see first how it works and then uh, we'll actually go to the setup mode one by one. Before that, if you like my video, please uh, do a like, subscribe and share with your colleague. So this is the simulator uh, actually in that WhatsApp or in a board, how it will work the same way it will work here. So what I'll do, I'll type that how. So once I type hi, you can see that it is asking me that hello, what can I help you today? And then I can create the incident and I can search the incident. I'll type that the create incident. And then once I type the create incident, it will ask few questions. I'll put that what's my name, I'll put my name and then I'll put that email address and then uh, I'll give my issues that it is that what your issue, I'll say that laptop is not working and then once I do that it will hit the, all the details to the server and the server will respond to me that uh, thanks for contacting us, your incident number is this and response from the service now. So it's directly hit to that server and then server responds me. The server can be anything like in your service now, in your any of these applications you can connect to this port. Now I'll do that search incident and then it will ask a few questions that incident number. I'll put that incident number 0020 which is recently created and then put that it will give me the incident state. Okay. Thing is that you need to sign up to Twilio. So you need to have a proper account for the Twilio. And once you have the Twilio account, you will be able to log into the Twilio site. Now, uh, if you see the current date is 2021 September, that Twilio layout they have little bit changes. Let me first uh, show you that how the Twilio looks like that. So this is all your um, products like a phone number, messaging, voice, autopilot. These all are the products and then this in monitor you have the logs and insights here into this monitor. So this is the they have little bit changes their UI in this Twilio. Apart from that, this is your current projects that you are seeing in this top side and each and every project you need to be upgrade for your actual production. Now here, if you click here, you will be able to see all your projects, whichever is created inside this studio. So you can see I have three projects or three new account. We can say projects or account where I am building the multiple projects. So for each project, you need to be upgrade that. So these all are my test accounts, so I won't be able to actually send the end user. I can only send the message or WhatsApp to the particular trusted people. So once you upgrade your account, you will be able to send actual user. If you click explore product in this left side, you will be able to see all the Twilio products here inside that below. But these are the products whichever we click the pin will be visible in your like if you pin any of these uh, product this product will be visible to your uh, left side so this this is the how the artwilio um website right now they have changed their ui now going back to that what we have to do we have to first create a project so click we are going back to here and i'm going to create a new account or new projects called whatsapp bot so account name I'm going to create that WhatsApp bot and click the verify once you create a projects or account you need to give the mobile number to verify the for that projects so I'll put my mobile number and then after that I have to verify my mobile number now here what I will do I'll click the verify and I'll receive a message I need to put the verification code here to confirm this mobile number. So I just received a code in my mobile. I'll put that verification code here and click submit. 
once you submit that it means that your uh, projects is created and the project name will be show on the top um, here let's uh, before that they have asked for um, additional question we'll just select all those i uh, will say that whatsapp So once you select all this information based on your selection you can see I have selected that WhatsApp that's the reason by default WhatsApp is coming just let I'm just closing those things right now and you can see by based on the selections they have predefined pinned some of the application once you selected these applications uh, what you have to do the very first thing is that you have to click here and get your trial number so going back here and then inside that you need to be collect your first thing is that a phone number so click here in this get trial number you will be able to get a trial number and as i am using the trial account i don't have options or ability to select multiple numbers i'll just select the choose this number otherwise if you are paid you can get the multiple numbers so i'll just select the choose this number and so once i select the choose this number this number will be visible here in your dashboard so this is my project dashboard so you can see this is my project dashboard and in this project dashboard you can see my account asid and authorization code is there using that i will be able to interact with this project from the third party now what we have to do uh, if you go my if you uh, see my conversation what i am going to do here I am going to build a bot that bot will ask that hi and then once I type hi bot will response me that how can I help you I can create incident and search incident and once you put the create incident it will ask the short hot description and the caller number and so once you put these two information the incident will be created otherwise uh, you can select the search incident and then once you uh, select the search incident the bot will ask you the number and then once you put the number it will give you the incident status of that incident now going back here i can't see in the left side any of these autopilot applications i have to click explore product and then from there i have to select that autopilot and just simply click the pin it means that once I click the pin, the autopilot will be available into this left side. I'll go to this bot and then here you can see the build a bot. I'll click here. Once you select the build a bot, you will be able to see that predefined. There are many predefined templates available called appointment scheduling, FAQ, hospitality. These are the predefined uh, um, board created for you. So let's open one of this board and see how it looks like. If you see, I want to uh, make an appointment. So once you make this message or once you make that, it will ask you for the date where you want to come in, right? So once you select that um, I am coming tomorrow, it will be that ask you that what time would you like to. So this is a predefined board. It's already created. You can simply click this create this board and the template makes you and create you a bot for you but our case we are going to deal with the incident problem incident change in this case i don't want to build this bot what i'll do i'll click the start from the scratch and then here i'll put that uh, the unique name called incident bot so once i put this incident bot and click create bot you will be able to see it will be generate a application or program for me so this is my incident bot created for me and this is incident bot have the four tasks predefined already created one is the greeting start another is the collect fallback and that this is the fallback and the goodbye these four are program or the task is by default created now going back to the default behavior if you click on the default behavior what it is saying that default behavior is the greeting which is nothing but this task we have selected default bit, uh, behavior it means that whenever someone message something the bot will be initiated this task the greeting task and response this based on this task so this is the 
bot default initiation next is the fallback whenever your uh, condition doesn't match in that case this task will be a uh, fallback task will be selected whenever uh, you are trying to take some input from the user and that input is not matches in that case the collect feedback fallback collect fallback will be uh, picked up and the goodbye is the last one so let's first uh, click the simulate option and see how it works right now so i have not created anything just created predefined for um, task is created so what we'll do i'll type hi first once i type hi the it will be initiated uh, if i uh, on the debug view you can see that the task is initiated is the creating task which is the default initiation task and then from this task i am getting a response that hello what can i help you today so this is the response i am getting from this uh, greeting program task now we'll create two more tasks as per our case one is the create incident another is the search incident so let's see how we can do that so going back to that i'm going to click and create a new task called create incident and then click add so this task will be created called create incident each task have two options you can see the program and trend let's click the program first and see how looks like that so once you select the program you can see these are the program bin or these are the program by default you can use that one is that say so if you want to respond to a user you can select the say template if you want to select the collect so this is the collect where you can get and collect the information and here the listen where user can listen some information uh, these are the options here are you can select and multiple our case will collect some information i simply copy this one and then paste here now here i will just modify that call collect uh, incident so this is my question and then first question is will be that uh, sh uh, short description and color these two input i have to take from the user so i'll ask that to the user that and once i ask the what's your name the name is nothing but i'll put that name and here i have to define the type what type of variable it is now going back here and uh, if you select that field type the twilio itself have many field type we will utilize that out of box field type so you can see uh, the twilio built-in field type is that these are the field type uh, the our preferable field type will be the first name and the last name what will so what we'll do we'll ask the we'll use this field type called first name i'll copy this field type and going back and here i'll paste this field type okay so what we'll do we'll ask the name and they will provide the name secondly we'll ask the email address so i'll copy and paste the same thing and what is your email id so i'll put that email id so in this name i'll put that email and the type i will select that email the twilio.email this type i'll select and post here okay and the next question i will uh, ask that what is the issue so let's put that put any of this type because it's a predefined okay it's a free text i will own tape or put any of this type let's save this model once i save that going back and switch to the train so train is nothing but how this task will be initiated or based on what the task will be initiated if somebody said that create incident will initiate that task or if somebody type the incident or if somebody said the incident needs to be created in this in this all these cases i will invoke these a uh, task or i need help in that all this case i will invoke this um program 
so sample program task is i have added now uh, build in model i'll select the build model so in this program if you see it is saying that how can i help but it is not asking that i can create and search the incident in that case what i'll do i'll modify this greeting initiation one i'll go to this program and little bit modify this uh, greeting or initiation program or task so what i'll do i'll just add that i can save and build model now going back um, there will be a simulator here i'll click the simulator and then test that how it working or how it looks like right now so my simulator is ready what i'll do i'll just type hi and the greeting or uh, you can see the trigger task is the greeting and it is saying that hello what can i help you today i can create incident on search incident i'll type that create incident once I type the create incident, the task will be initiated nothing but the create incident task is generated and what I'll type here, what's your name? I am Rohit, here I'm just typing that. You can see the name field automatically detect from this text is that Rohit is the name and then it is asking that what your email address, my email uh, ID is uh rohit bch036 at the gmail.com and so once i hit that you can see the email from this text email is automatically identify that or automatically from this text it is identify that this is my email address and then finally that it is asking what is your issue or that i am saying that my laptop is not working Once I type that one, that's done uh, because it I have not initiated that list, um, last step that the incident will be created. That steps we will do through a API so that the this information go to the API and create a incident and return back to that. Going back to the memory, you will be able to see all your portions or all your answer is stored into the memory, and this JSON will be passed during our process or during our integrations okay i'll create similar one task for the search so i'll quickly create those tasks Now going back to the simulator, I have created the search incident also. Going back to the CN simulator, if I type that hi, it will ask you that, see this greeting task is initiated and then here I will search that search incident. And once we save that, you will be able to see that uh, what's your incident number. I'll put that INC001 and then click hit zero, uh, save bot will identify the incident number and send back to that api so that things we will actually cover in our next session thank you very much have a great day